Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 26th of 2017. It's uh, 2.30 a.m. in the morning. And this is going to be a 10-minute video. It's just going to be a little general information. Um, my head is doing better. I'm having a heck of time uh, keeping the dressing on. I've got all different sizes of dressings, and uh, just doesn't, and I think I've decided uh, no more dressing. But we'll see. Uh, I have two more of my pain medication left, or no, it's the antibiotic. I didn't get a pain medication. Bummer. Uh, so I'll be done today with that. Uh, today's the 26th and four days I have the stitches come out. The stitches down underneath are ones that dissolve. The ones on top will have to be taken out by the doctor. Like I said, this is just going to be a, a little general update. I'm going to, I've got eight minutes to go. Uh, what I want to mention is I have spent a long time, every day time, working on a blog, which the viewership has gone <laughs> steadily down, down, down. But when I post something there, it goes automatically to uh, Facebook, goes automatically to Twitter and every place else. But I've right now I'm I've decided I've redirected the traffic from HNB1982.com, and I may get around to doing the rest to here. I need to put, I guess I'll put a link down here someplace so you can, well, anyway, I've redirected it to here. Uh, if you're going to shop for a camera or something, please, if you're looking at getting it from Amazon, this is my Amazon A store, so you're really getting it from Amazon. Just come here and please pick it out and I'll get uh, get a small commission. And, uh, but anyway, if you go to, also that's going to, that I need to change my uh, app. For Android and for uh, Apple, when you click on home, you go there but on my phone it's not displaying as good as it, as well as it should well it is now hmm okay um, so I'll need to edit this app I think but you can still use it but it, I just want you to know if you for those of you who are using it and I appreciate you you know using it um, okay, now where's my timer? There it is. For those who are using the app, or for those of you who, for the few of you who have been going to my blog, and I have others that are set up that I need to change over that people aren't really going to, and times have changed. Uh, but you're going to be seeing this. There may be some refinement to it. And uh, it's set up as a uh, photo. I, I may add some. I'm going to add uh, some other things to it or use the other one that I have also in conjunction with it set up. But right now, this is if you're interested in uh, cameras. This is the plan. You can pick, you know, digital single lens reflex, uh, camera lenses, so forth and so on. 
I was talking about photography the other day. I forgot to mention my favorite of all time cameras, the twin lens reflex camera. Remember the kind that you look, flipped up the thing and you looked it down in, it had two lenses. Uh, I loved taking, took, used 120 or 220 film. You had a choice. Uh, loved that camera. But you know now the cameras uh, that have the the uh, viewer on the back that you can rotate, you can sort of get, the, you know, you can rotate it and be looking down. So I haven't been doing that, but I maybe I need to do that to bring back the good old days. Okay, not much time left. Uh, this is the, okay, here is the app at the App Store. And I do appreciate those of you, 14 of you, have given it five stars. Great, thank you very much. Nobody's given it a bad stars, so that that's nice. Uh, I need to. I got a book on it. I need to see how to update the uh, app. The Apple app, I would have no idea how to do that, but I have a book on how to update or how to write one. And but I think I just want to update it. You know, I may change my mind with what I'm doing, but right now, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try to. I just want to mention a few things about politics. So, if, if uh, I only got about three minutes to go, so, and I don't think it's going to be something that you have to opt out of, but it's up to you. Uh, I really wish Democrats and Republicans and everybody, when something like this comes up, this is the race in what Montana. They have one congressman for the entire state because of their population. And of course, 40% of the people had already voted before this uh, candidate, Republican candidate decided to uh, punch out a, a liberal uh, reporter. I wish there were consequences when somebody does. Now, sometimes it's debatable. I don't think this case is debatable. Sometimes it's debatable. I wish that Republicans, Democrats, and everybody would uh, hold people responsible when they do something like that. But here, this this guy has punched out a reporter yesterday, and he's uh, elected uh, today. Uh, FBI investigators taking a look at uh, Trump's son-in-law. I think that that came up before. I think he was a, I think a party of subject of interest. I may run a little over on the time here. Um, other thing I wanted to mention was, well, here's the body slamming incident. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was, <coughs> uh, Trump I'm really, as you can tell, conflicted. I think we should, you know, President Trump. Um, he pushed uh, at the NATO grouping where they have like 35, I forget what it was, large number of people. He pushed uh, <laughs> one of the prime ministers or somebody out of his way so he could get into the front and be in the center. And that is President Trump, I tell you. I, I mean, you know, big deal in a way, except it just kind of... And I noticed I uh, at the inauguration of President Trump, I'm going to run over for sure. Forget about that thing I told you about time. Uh, I noticed at the inauguration, when the vice president was being sworn in, that... Uh, Donald Trump moved so that he was in the view of the camera. I'm sorry, I'm not following your advice. He moved so that he was centered in the, you know, in the background. So he had the, uh, I'm not sure who gave the, I can't remember who gave the oath, whether it was a Supreme Court justice, probably a Supreme Court justice. Um, 
and the vice president. And so he moved. And so the one thing that I can say about President Trump is that he knows uh, television. And he knew enough to move and place himself, you know, so that uh, he was in, you know, in the picture there rather than uh, being over behind somebody, behind being blocked by the... Uh, so he is good at that. That's one thing he's good at. Not sure I can think of anything else that he's good at. Um, his travel ban has been blocked again. Held up by a higher federal court, but it'll probably go to the Supreme Court. And uh, I'm even convinced that the Supreme Court will, you know, block it. Um... Uh, I think this is about the Vatican visit. Yeah, it is. And I saw that mentioned even on a... Uh, right-wing uh, site. They, they even mentioned it. Apparently, uh, the press secretary, Sheen Spicer, is a Catholic. And he wanted very much to be in the, the Vatican to get to see the Pope and maybe have the Pope bless him or uh, something. And uh, poor, <laughs> he was cut out. It seems like a deliberate, I mean, you know, I, I'm sure that he made it clear he wanted to, that he thought he was going to be and wanted to be in that group. And uh, others were, it wasn't just, you know, President Trump and his wife and his daughter and there were some other people there, you know, also that were there that got to see the Pope and I get maybe, I don't know if you're allowed to shake his hand or not, but so they cut him out. I mean, I really, uh, really kind of, uh, I mean, I, I think he's done a terrible job as a press secretary, but my how could you do anything other than a terrible job when you have, you know, President Trump and you're trying to, you have to articulate and try to put across what he wants. And you can't go out there and say, when he, when the president does something that's wrong or something that is stupid or whatever, you're the press secretary. You can't go out there and say, oh yeah, well, he, he fucked up on that. You have to go out there and you have to spin it, you know, Democrat or Republican or whatever. That's your job to go out there and spend it. I feel sorry for him. And here's a little something that he could have got. I mean, everything I think he's press secretary has, man, been in a bad spot. And here's a little something that he could have gotten and he wouldn't have been indicted for it and he wouldn't have been investigated for it or <laughs> whatever. And Donald Trump uh, didn't take care of him. Even Donald Trump's, that you hear mentioned from time to time, his ex-bodyguard, who apparently sits outside the Oval Office door, the Secret Service are taking care of the security, but he's been Donald Trump's bodyguard for a long, long time, and I guess a good friend and confidant or whatever, and even he got to go see the Pope. So that's... Uh, the other thing, I don't think it was here. I think it was actually, I saw it uh, mentioned, I think on the right wing, um, right wing site I think that's where I saw the most talk about it on redstate.com I guess I could pull it up I don't even want to pull it up anymore well I'll pull it up um, there's comments about uh, President Trump's wife
Okay, I know I saw it here. Where is it? Let's see. Well, I don't see it now. <clears throat> Apparently, she's a Catholic. She, um, which I didn't know. He's a he's a uh, President Trump is a Presbyterian. Well, he's <laughs> I don't think he goes to church, but. Apparently she's a Catholic, and I, think, I don't think people really knew that she was. She, of course, went to the Vatican, and of course she was. Um, she took her rosary, and she asked the, the Pope to bless it for her. So there was discussion. Of course, um, really, it isn't anybody's you know business or whatever. But of course the right-wing site was, you know, sort of bringing into it, uh, well, I don't know what they were bringing into it, but I found it kind of, I found it kind of interesting. Uh, you know, I think there's been the, you know, her staying, not, not staying at the White House and staying in New York, supposedly so that uh, Baron, their son, can go to continue to go to his school there, and the word was that uh, they were going to move when the school season started in Washington D.C. In fact, they picked out the school, and they said the school that he's going to. And I don't know if if she's going. I'm I'm beginning to uh, and of course she had the thing with the plagiarizing of the speech at the con Republican convention. But I'm beginning right now. I mean, there's somebody in the Trump circle that I'm beginning to think maybe I can admire. Uh, I doubt she's involved in any of the rest of the shenanigans that apparently appear to be going on. Uh, and I get really tired of the women in politics. Uh, what is this? I want to say Goober, but not Goober. What's the one that Democrat that showing his penis to people online? I'm sick and tired of the women. Of course, she's divorcing him now. Um, Sick and tired of seeing them, you know, see the husband up there and then the wife is, uh, you know, showing uh, her support. Uh, showing her support for her, her president. And of course we had the same thing with, with what, Hillary Clinton standing behind, you know, President Clinton and showing her support for him and... Um, And so it'd be nice to have a uh, first lady or some politician's wife who I'm not sure that Ivanka, is that his daughter or his wife? I can't remember. I can't keep him track. Got a little bit. I got from some respect for her right now. She's about the only one up there in that, that group that I, uh, you know, that I do. So more power to her and her religion shouldn't really enter into it at all but there's speculation as to when did she become a Catholic she was you know raised in a communist country her father was some type of a party you know uh, person and so they couldn't appear to be religious um, so they were wondering, you know, when did she, uh, when did she get baptized, and uh, stuff like that. So uh, that might be something of interest. It, it would be interesting, you know, they, because they they were talking too on the right wing side about how she recited the Lord's Prayer at one time, you know, at one time and. Uh, Maybe you're not aware of the. Uh, I worked with a lot of, and my well, my mother's family were Baptist, and they hated uh, Catholics, and 
good people. They were good people, uh, but they hated Catholic with an, with an unreasonable uh, passion. And uh, one of the things that, and then I also worked with, you know, people who were. I, of course, I worked with some who were Catholic, and I worked with some who weren't. But the Baptists and the ones who, the Protestants or whatever, like on the Lord's Prayer or the Our Father, whatever you want to call it. The uh, and my mind is melting, uh, melting. The the thing at the end when uh, I should have po pulled that up. The extra bit. Um, what is it? For thine is the power, the glory. Is that it? I can't remember, but. You know, the Protestants get really upset that the uh, Catholics end the, you know, the Our Father, and they don't have the extra couple lines on there. And if I remember correctly, um, it's because that's one of the things that in the liturgy was included sometimes at the conclusion of so it's it's not something that the Catholics have any have any problem with, because there are a lot of prayers or in the mass and in the services and things that a prayer ends and then uh, the people in the church respond with uh, with something. And the Republic, the <laughs> the uh, Protestants have a thing, you know have a real issue with that. How come you don't say, almost political, like how come you're not wearing a American flag pin, you know? Uh, how come you don't shout America's number one or whatever, and it's sort of the same type of thing. It's like, don't you believe, you know, in the, you know, in the, the faith department or whatever, it's, well, how come you don't say that? So, I should have found the whoops. I hit. I do that sometimes with my uh, my hand hits the keyboard. I guess you can tell I have run out of material, but I don't want to stop talking with you all. Oh, let's see, YouTube. Oh, I already have YouTube pulled up there. What am I doing? There we are. Um, I watch PBS NewsHour every Friday. Well, I, I either watch it the entire thing on YouTube, PBS NewsHour, or the two commentators at the end. They they also have their little commentary about the week or whatever, and. Uh, Either I watched that, just that clip, or I watched the full episode. I'm a big fan of Twit. They even have the, they have a Jesuit priest who does, he really knows his uh, technology and you'll see him soldering and building things and doing all types of stuff. Uh, what else? Here's the the guy who slammed the uh, news reporter to the ground and is now the Republican Congressperson. Here, PBS News Hours talking about does an assault on a reporter reflect uh, whatever. I think one of the things is, well, you just shouldn't be hitting anybody no matter who you are. Even if you're a congressman, you're not allowed to. But I think when he did his first, I th he has apologized apparently now. Um, but when he first did it, he indicated, no, you know, he put a microphone in my face and I don't know, I accidentally, you know, whatever, I'm not guilty or whatever. But he made it a point to say, you know, 
liberal media, and it's kind of like code words, you know. Um, like back when the Republicans were using them, to, I think they always use race, you know. Uh, I forget which presidential election it was, but they were using, the Republicans were using law and order. They were in favor of, you know, we have to do law and order. And that was code words for, you know, black people. We have to, you know, and so now it's, it's uh, you know, the kind of code word is liberal media. And then apparently you can slam them to the ground or uh, throw them out of a public meeting or put them in an area, a confined area where the crowd can yell at them and uh, so um, I like Twitch I, uh, this is not the but I hate, uh, of course, a lot of good information. I, I, well, I don't hate this guy, but his show that he does on computer security or whatever, God, he talks like me, except he knows what he's talking about. And he talks for a long time in detail about, you know, bits and all this kind of stuff about hacking and that type of stuff. and security, it's a, you know, but can't stand that show. I like the Android show, the Windows show. I like seeing the live streaming. Windows and Android, what else? I think that's it. I thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to let you know about you're going to be seeing that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. So uh, I, I do thank you. Uh oh, I wonder what happened. I see the timer going here. It's not good. I wonder if my video shut off. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.